Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our St. Bridget School Mass. Today is a special day because we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day and the fifth Sunday of Lent. St. Patrick's Day is like a big party in Ireland where people wear green and have fun. St. Patrick's Day was a really cool guy who lived a long time ago. He taught people about God and helped them understand how much God loves them. He had a friend named St. Bridget who also, who was also amazing. St. Bridget did lots of kind stuff, things for people and was known for her generosity and caring heart. So today we remember both St. Patrick and St. Bridget, Bridget and, and try to be kind and loving as they were. During Lent, we're getting ready for Easter, which is a big celebration of Jesus coming back, at, coming back to life. So we're thinking about how much we can be better people and show how much to others, show how, show love to others, just like Jesus did. Let's take a moment and be thankful for everything, and when we have and ask God to help us and be kind and loving to everyone around us. Our celebrate today is Father Joseph. Please stand up for our play, opening, praying. Opening him. For opening. Yeah, opening him. Opening him. Do I go sit down? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome to this family. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, children. Good morning. Oh, it's not awake yet. Good morning, children. It's great to have our children around with us this morning for the uh, school mass and also at special occasions for us together on the fifth Sunday of Lent and also as the feast day of St. Patrick. So happy feast day of St. Patrick everyone. Make sure you have some whiskey today with the families. As we come together let us acknowledge all the blessings we have received we give thanks for the gifts of our faith, of our families, 
and especially the gifts of our children who are present here with us. But before we celebrate the Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins. The time we might fail to love God and to love one another, we ask for His mercy and pardon. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord says, the time is coming when I will make a new agreement with the people of Israel and Ju Judea. It will be different from the agreement that I made with their uh, ancestors when I lead them of, out of Egypt, although I was their God. They broke their agreement with me. This, this is the agreement that I, the Lord, will make with the people of Israel. I will write my laws on their hearts and minds. I will, I will be their God, and they will be my people. No longer will they have to teach each other to obey me. I, the Lord, promise that all of them will obey me no matter who they are. They are. I will forgive them their sins and forget the evil things they have done. The, wor the word of the Lord. The response is clean and clean heart in me, O God. Your kind God, please have pity on me. You're always merciful. Please wipe away my sins. Response. Create pure thoughts in me and make me faithful again. Response. Make me as happy as you did when you saved me. Make me want to obey. Response. A reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. During his life on earth, Christ offered up prayer and entreaty aloud and in silent tears to the one who had the power to save him out of death. And he submitted so humbly that his prayer was heard Although Jesus was God's son, but he learnt to obey through suffering. But having been made perfect, he became for all who obey him the source of eternal salvation. The word of the Lord. The response is glory and praise to you, Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
If you serve me, follow me, follow me, says the Lord. And when where I am, my servant will always be. Response. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, And what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came down from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The ground standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, boys. I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls on the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. We are at the fifth Sunday of Lent. It's very much we journey into the end of Lent and season before we enter into the Holy Week. Our reading this week guides us into a deeper understanding of God's love and salvation plan, encouraging personal and communal transformation that aligns with the heart of the Lenten season. Let us reflect on the first reading. The first reading from Jeremiah that speaks about the new covenant that God will establish with his people. And we see that unlike the old covenant, which was external and often broken, but this new covenant will be written in their hearts that highlights of an intimate, unbreakable relationship with God. And it highlights God's mercy and transformative power of His law within us. 
Create a clean heart within me, O Lord. As we see that the new covenant is promised, the forgiveness and love. And God said to each one of us that he's not going to remember our sins anymore. It's such a promise because it means that God will not hold our sins against us. That during the week that I've been witness, a lot of people came and asked for reconciliation. A lot of tears, a lot of joys as we come together and celebrate the gift of the blessed sacrament of reconciliation. And the idea of the covenant written in their heart also very significant. And it's because not only an external, it's not just an external agreement, contract, but it's something that internalized and personalized become part of who we are. When we accept this covenant, it's changed us. It's changed us from the inside out and transforms our hearts and our lives. It promised forgiveness and love, but it's also promised of a new relationship with God. When we accept this, accept this covenant, we become His people, and He becomes our God, as we listen to the first reading. We are no longer a stranger for Him, but we are brought near to Him. As during the week I had mass for our children, the St. Bridges, I had mentioned about the sense of belonging, that you are belong to this family, you belong to our school, that big part of that family, and we all very proud of you. You all have your own gifts, that the way you live and you study at school, and I heard a lot of comments from our teachers from other schools about how good you were during the competition, during the week, which we are very proud of you, that where you belong to. And coming to the second reading, that St. Paul reminds us once again about Jesus as the model of obedience and submission to God's will even face of suffering. It highlights the idea of true obedience to God can involve hardship, pain, but leads a greater wisdom and fulfillment of God's plan for salvation. And in the gospel, that we listen to Jesus using the image of a grain of wheat that must die to produce life, that all about his teeth to reach the fullness of life. And the, this theme is the central of Lenten journey, pointed towards Jesus' death and his resurrection as the path to new life for all believers. That today, Jesus teaching us about the self denial and importance of serving others as the key themes of our readings today. That following him requires our willingness to let go of personal desires and ambitions in favor of a life dedicated to serving God and his people. We must die to our pride, our selfishness, jealousy, and anger that we can rise to a new life of peace, joy, and love. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit.
Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. And, by, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge in the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, Trusting in God's love and His compassion with our children, let us offer Him our prayers. Season. May our hearts be filled with kindness and compassion, and compassion towards others. Let us pray to the Lord. We lift up those who are hungry, lonely, or sick. May they find comfort comfort and assistance from those around them. May we always be ready to help our neighbours in need. Let us pray to the Lord. On the St. Patrick's Day, we are asked for God's blessing on our family and friends. May we cherish the love of and joy they bring into our lives. Jesus asked, just as St. Patrick shared the love of God with others. Let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> We pray for peace and understand Standing. understanding among. among all people. May our world be f filled with harmony. harmony and may the light of God's love shine in every corner of the earth. Let's pray to the Lord. We remember those who are unwell, especially during this challenging time. May they find strength, healing, and the support they need. Let us pray to the Lord. 
As we continue our journey through Lent, help us to reflect on our actions and draw closer to you, Lord. We may grow in humanity and granted for the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. On the St. Patrick's Day, we pray for our school and community. May we be inspired by the values of St. Patrick to be peacemakers and spread love in our everyday lives. Let us pray to the Lord. We prayerfully remember those who have died and those who have anniversaries at this time. Mary Davies, Maureen Cahill, Thomas Cahill. May they enjoy eternal life in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, we give thanks for our children of St. Bridget's. We thank for their families and teachers. May you continue to bless them. And we also remember and pray for those who are unwell in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true man he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup,
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all of your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Patrick, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom Come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. No. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. 
My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Didn't our children sing beautifully? Thank you, children. You did really, really well. And thanks, great thanks to our teachers from St. Bridget's and those who are involved into the liturgy today. And thanks to the parents for bringing your kids today with us. And thanks to all and happy feast day of St. Patrick again. And just a wee reminder that on Tuesday, another big celebration, feast of St. Joseph, <laughs> friend of Mother Mary. So come along, have mass and pray for our families. Okay, Tuesday. I'm looking forward to see you all there. <laughs> Can I ask all the Eucharistic minister come forward, please? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for our Eucharistic ministers. Thank for their goodness and love for our people in our community. May you bless them and bless those people who cannot be here with us. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, everyone. Have a lovely week.